Hi everyone, here is our math problem for today. Early bird drives the same route to work each day and leaves at 8 a.m. He finds out that if he goes 40 miles per hour the whole way, he is 3 minutes late. If he goes 60 miles per hour the whole way, he is 3 minutes early. What speed must he go in order to arrive exactly on time? You can pause the video and see if you can solve this problem. Now let's solve this problem together. One common mistake here is to get the average of the speed because anyway, for the first speed, early bird is 3 minutes late and for the second speed, he is 3 minutes early. That is wrong because the speed and time are inversely proportional. So you cannot just get the average of 40 and 60 and say the answer is 50 miles per hour. What we are going to do here is we are going to get the reciprocal of this speed, that is, the reciprocal of 40 is 1 over 40, and the reciprocal of 60 is 1 over 60, and get their average. In that case, we are dealing with what we call as the harmonic mean. So let's perform the computation. We let v be the speed to arrive on time. And we get the sum of 1 over 40 plus 1 over 60, which is the sum of the reciprocals of the speed and divide it by 2 or multiply by 1 half in order to get the average. That average is what we call as the harmonic mean. And that is equal to the reciprocal of the desired speed v. So we have here 1 over v. Our task now is to solve for v in this equation. First, let's do away with this 1 half by multiplying both sides by 2. So we arrive at 2 over v equals 2 times 1 half, so that cancels the 1 half, and we just copy 1 over 40 plus 1 over 60. Now, to further simplify this, we multiply both sides of the equation by the least common multiple of the denominator or the LCD, and that LCD is 120v, so we multiply both sides by 120v. Simplifying the left side, we arrive at 240, and distributing 120v to this binomial, we arrive at 3v plus 2v. Then adding 2v plus 3v gives us 5v, and then divide both sides by 5, we arrive at the desired speed v equals 48 miles per hour. So the speed that will enable early bird to arrive on time is 48 miles per hour. Now to convince us that this 48 miles per hour is really the answer, Let's do some checking. Now, let's recall that time is equal to distance over speed or speed is equal to distance over time. If we let x be the distance traveled, then we can now represent the time as x over whatever is the speed. So for the first time, you have x distance over 40 miles per hour minus the same distance traveled at 60 miles per hour. The difference in time is 6 minutes x over 40 is greater than x over 60, so the result here is positive. Solving for x in this equation, we find out that x is equal to 12 miles. Driving at 60 miles per hour, that is this part, early bird is 3 minutes early. So we have 12 over 60, that is the distance of 12 miles, divided by the speed of 60 miles per hour, and convert that to minutes by multiplying by 60 minutes, the result is 12 minutes. That means early bird is 3 minutes earlier when he traveled for 12 minutes. So that means he is on time when he traveled at 15 minutes. So to be on time, t must be 15 minutes. And so traveling again the same distance of 12 miles at 15 minutes, we arrive at 12 over 15 over 60. And that gives us 48 miles per hour which was our computed speed here of 48 miles per hour in order for early bird to arrive on time. And so for this problem, early bird must travel 48 miles per hour to arrive on time. So thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video.